Hello, welcome to Jibrin Angle on Wileke TV. My name is Jibrin and this is my angle. Um, let's watch this video and I'll come back uh, and uh, give my comment, make my comment on that. Um, it's about um, Donald Trump. I, I bet you, you want to watch this video. It's very, very interesting and insightful. Nelson Mandela and 80 of his sisters were trying to come to the United States. Yeah. The United States government wasn't helping him. No one was helping him. You chartered a 727 plane for their entire trip. Yeah. How was somebody, and it's crazy because you can talk about anything, and you, why is it hard for you to talk about the things you've done? It runs in your family. Your father helped build a synagogue. I mean, why do we not know those things? It's something that I've never, I, I love doing it. I don't need praise for it. I, I don't, um, we all like uh, a certain level of praise, but I've never, uh, I just like helping people. I help a lot of people and I enjoy doing it and I never talk about it. It's nice that you bring it up. I also think it's not a narrative that the press likes talking about for me. But I think it would help a lot of the American people who have been misled, I myself included. Now listen, I'm voting for you now because of the man you are, not just because of the policies, because not every American will get the opportunity that I had to saw mm -hmm. who you were backstage. And that's why I have this list. I mean, I can, I have testimonials. I, we can't go through all of them because I want to see them. Now this was, this was, <laughs> I, I had to dig deep. I like that. You donated a hundred thousand dollars to raise dogs. You're not even a dog guy. Yeah. Explain that. Well, that's uh, Lara. So I have a wonderful, the wife of, of Eric and she's a terrific person. You know, she's actually now a very big, uh, an important person in the re in getting elected in the Republican Party she comes from North Carolina. She loves the dogs. And all right, um, I just wanted you to see a different side of Donald Trump. One thing about uh, Donald Trump is um, this was this man was actually lo very loved by Americans, including the establishment that are, that have demonized him. Um, today and they're still demonizing him until he contested for presidency. They all turned against him because he is an outsider. Um, why I play this video, I wish I can get all this comp completion. I've watched several videos of people. If you want to know someone, if you want to know someone from a distance, um, talk to, if the person is rich, talk to his employees. People that have worked for him or that are working for him or her. I bet you, you will get, you can, you, it is easy for you to know someone, a wealthy person, his, his or her conduct, his or her personality or dispositions. Very, very easy. And judge between Trump, people who has, who worked for Trump or who are working for Trump and that of Kamala Harris. The stark difference is there. Trump, every so many people, people who have been, who was, including junior staff, who worked for Trump in his organizations or whatever, they have come with a whole lot of testimony. No one person has spoken a bad of Donald Trump. No one former or present staff has spoken bad of Donald Trump. Everyone has ran one praises or the other. One emotional testimony about Trump. He is a giver. He is someone who helps. He is someone who goes out of his way to help. Just listen to the, what this guy said. The, this journalist asked, talked about Nelson Mandela. When even the U.S. couldn't refuse to 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 help him, Donald Trump actually sent a plane, hired a plane for Nelson Mandela to pick Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela was a black man. Remember, this is someone they, they call racist. This same president, we have the Mike Tysons. Even right now, Mike Tyson is going to vote for him, according to him. We have the black, the Muhammad Ali. This guy was, the, was the, the friendliest person to the blacks, to the black community, including the so-called Jesse Jackson that is criticizing him now. This man was the best friend to the black community. And now the mainstream media has have demonized him. He was not only the best friend for, of uh, the, uh, the black community, but also the Hollywood industry. 
But today, all these people are against him because the money bags, the establishment politicians and bureaucrats, they are against him. They are against him for one reason, because he is not only, it's not only, it's not just only not one of them. His policies, his ideas are completely detrimental to their interests and completely patriotic to Nigeria, to the country, um, to the U.S. If you want to know how sincere someone is, judge the person, if he's a public uh, uh, servant, public, uh, uh, um, uh, it's a public figure, judge the person by his or her antecedents. Donald Trump, what he is doing today, what he's saying today, what he's been saying since 2015, he started saying them since in the early 80s. Ask Oprah Winfrey. There are interviews he conducted with Oprah Winfrey and other, 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 um, uh, other uh, talk show hosts. Everything he's been saying, he started saying it for over 40 years now. He's been, that I've never seen a politician that is as consistent as Donald Trump. What he believed them then is still what he believes now. There are some skirmishes of this issue of abortion thing that is actually a kind of like a winning, a winning spree for um, a winning uh, or, or a magic wand for Donald uh, for the Democrat Party. So he decided to a kind of um, come to the middle of this issue of abortion so that he can be able to win votes, which is understandable. But deep down in his heart, we all know he's a pro-lifer. He is the only president on record who addressed, who physically was present and addressed the pro-life, annual pro-life march. So he's a pro-life man. So whatever he do, whatever today he does, he's just doing it to, to actually um, please some people, be on in the middle so that he can we can win votes so this man is not just they call him hitler they call him devil they call him the threat to the democracy unfortunately they he they are the opposite of what they call they are the sorry not opposite the exact image of what they project of him exact image the Democrat Party, they, 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 not just Democrat Party, including Republican establishments, the Dick Cheney them, the Mitt Romney them, the Paul Paul uh, Paul Ryan them, they every all those Republican, they are rhinos. They call them rhinos, Republican in name only. So they are they are they, their dispositions are not different from Democrat Party. This man is. Initially, I used to um, see him. I just love his policies, his courage, his frankness, his sincerity, um, his strength, his manly strength. Those are the things I love. Those qualities in him. Um, I used to have issues with so, part of his personality until I started watching some past confessions from different people. Come on, I did. recently I even watched one who was a swimming pool attendant. Attendant. Who talked about Donald Trump? She, he worked for Donald Trump about 10 years ago. She was no more there as a swimming pool attendant. And she talked about how Trump will always visit, I think monthly, will visit monthly. And anytime he visited, he will go around shaking everybody, even the, including low star. In fact, not just shaking everybody, but having personal interaction with, including she herself, who was just a mere uh, a, a swimming pool attendant. And to the extent that he will, Donald Trump, will, she said Donald Trump will ask them individually, is there anything that you will, you will need me or you want me to know that I don't know? That's to tell you that he is a boss who actually listens to the lowest of the low, who takes everyone, not just equally, but everyone importantly as well. He values everybody and everyone's opinion and really open, dead open to helping people. And everybody, I think the testimony is all over the place, how this man has helped so many people and he keeps helping. Donald Trump is someone who goes out of his way to actually help people.
this is just the human part of him, the emotional side of him. I have enumerated the, uh, the, the, the administrative part of him in, on my previous, so many of my monologues. He has done so much for the U.S. and he still won. Nobody can be more patriotic than Donald Trump as it is now. This is someone who have, who, who have, who took bullet once, even in the midst of that heat. He knew quite all right that as he lifted up his head, poked his head through those conglomerate of secret, de, uh, um, secret agents, he managed to, at his age, 78, 70, 77, 78 years. No, not 78. I think 74, 75. He still got that strength to really poke out his head and expose himself, made himself vulnerable to probably the, either a second shooter or the first shooter hitting another, pulling another, another new, tri, the second trigger. In that midst of heat, he had the courage to 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 raise his fist to the air and said fight 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 come on please be sincere to yourself this man is just too much i love him he is the best pres president that us will ever have Okay, not ever. We don't know the future, but we, you have you has ever had. Let me use the past tense. This man loves this country. What he is doing, he's doing it out of patriotism. It's not in four years it didn't benefit anything. He lost money. Everybody knows it. He's the only president who lost money. Only you, the only U.S. president who lost money after he left presidency. It's on record. It's not hidden. And yet he's coming back again. And he's coming back to a clean house. He's going. To, this election is going to be a landslide. I don't have doubt about that. It's going to be a landslide. They will try to rig as usual, as they did in 2020. They rigged it. I don't even know why some of his followers still doubt that they rigged the election. Including some journalists that I respect and I respect their opinion. I don't even know why they... Because they you don't... The courts, the courts did what they did because all of them, those courts are liberal judges. So, of course, they had to throw away those cases. It was a gang up. 2020, 2020 was a gang up. The judiciary, the security agents, the government, um, um, uh, public servants, they all ganged up against the bureaucrats. They, they all ganged up against Donald Trump in 2020, including his kitchen cabinet, which the, Mike Pence was the head of the kitchen cabinet. They all ganged up against him. But thank God, God is bringing him back again. Thank God because he will win. And he will win on his landslide. And this is my angle.